everybody. In this video, we're going to use the in operator to find items in lists or characters and strings. All right, let's get going. So here I have a short code. I have a list called names, and I'm going to loop through the names to see if the name Curly is in this list. I've written this code on pythontutor.com. It's a visualizer which helps you see how your code is running. Over here are the variables, and as you can see, it works, but there's a shorter way to do this, and I'm going to show you that right now. Again, though, if you think this is helpful to you, the website is pythontutor.com. All right, here's the syntax or the formula for how this works. The in operator, it's basically if item in list. So you have the if item, which could be a string or variable or anything, in list colon. And then the code that's part of the if is indented. All right, so here it is in action. I have a list called names. I'm going to ask the user to input a name. And I'm going to use the in now. So if name in names. And if that singular name is in the list of names, it will print out the name that you gave me is in the list. And if it's not, it'll print out the name you give me is not in the list. And if you look at the program run, that's what you see. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing, this time with a string. I'll set the character equals to u if character in word. And since u is in supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, it prints out the characters in the word. And if I change character to x, because I've misspelled supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, the character is not in the word. So just to show, you can use the in operator with lists and with strings. All right, common mistakes. This is a section we get to skip because almost everybody seems to get this every time. All right, here's the solution to the lab. Please pause the video and try it first. But if for some reason you're missing something, it's all here. Okay, this first one, I want you to add one line of code to check to see if the number is in the list. So the number variable is number, singular number, and the list is numbers. So we're going to check to see if the single item is in the list. Here I'm running it first just to show that it crashes. So I'll fix it with if number in numbers, which follows the basic formula of if item in list or if singular in plural, colon. And I run it, it runs, it's happy because the item three is in the list numbers. All right, for the second one, I'm asking you to do the exact same thing except with a character in a string. So we're adding one line of code here. I wanna do if single characters in a string. So that would be if letter in word with a colon. I run it, and it's good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.